Hey guys, in this video, I want to demonstrate to you how to actually mint STX tokens. These are form of an airdrops that you can mint for free on new Bitcoin meta protocols. If you don't have any context of what's going on in the crypto market right now, all value is being consolidated towards Bitcoin from NFTs to tokens are now being created on Bitcoin and not as much Ethereum, not other plat platforms again. So to do that, it's very difficult and also it's very, very expensive because of gas fees. So a new project, well, it's not that new, but it's fairly a new solution on Bitcoin called Stacks, have been working on a solution. This is a layer two solution on top of Bitcoin that allows people to basically run smart contracts on Bitcoin. It's a smart contract platform, which means you can create tokens and also non-fungible tokens on Bitcoin in one way or another. So all the ordinal activity, if you heard of Bitcoin BRC20 ordinals, is more likely going to end up on a layer two and one of those layer twos is Stacks. So three days ago, Stacks came out and they basically did an experiment to mint a token on top of their chain and they called it STXS. And within hours it was minted out, but what happened since then, their network is completely dysfunctional, it's clogging and transactions are not going through. However, they have an upgrade coming up in Q1 of 2024 and they're calling it the Nakamoto upgrade. So currently Stacks, it's cheaper with gas fees, but it operates almost the same as Bitcoin, in which a transaction would also take you about 20 minutes to settle. But also they produce blocks at every 10 minutes, almost like Bitcoin. But anyway, I just want to show you how to mint. So I've been putting this out on Twitter. For those of you who are following me there, I'm basically every hour updating you guys with new mints, new alpha for doing this stuff. So make sure you're following me on Twitter, but I did create this, um, an airdrop tutorial for you guys to follow, but the problem it seems to be how to actually mint, I need to show you in video. So this video is all about that. And if you appreciate this kind of content, of course, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Right, so first of all, you're gonna need a wallet and the best wallet for this is Xverse wallet. Xverse is the best wallet, or you could also use Leather, leather.io. It's another wallet, so either one of these will work. You install it, make sure you keep your seed phrases safely. You could also connect your Ledger wallet to Xverse if you choose so. And then after that, you're gonna have to go to stx20.com. And this is where you're going to do the minting. However, you have to make sure that you have this token, this tax in your wallet. So within your Xverse wallet, you will be able to deposit Bitcoin, but also stacks. Currently, by the recording of this video, the STX token is very difficult to find because exchanges suspended withdrawals because the network is going through some upgrades. So you could. The way I managed to get it is that I went on to Alex, alexlab.co. You should find it on CoinGecko as well. Alex Lab. There you go. This is kind of a DeFi platform for Bitcoin. It's fairly new as well. You go to Alex Lab and on Alex, you can bridge from uh, an Ethereum EVM like smart chain, Binance smart chain, or Ethereum directly into stacks, and then you convert whatever you have, you swap whatever you have into stacks, like what I did on this transaction. I deposited Bitcoin, and then it got wrapped into a BTC, a BTC was then swapped for STX, and then it was sent to me. These transactions took hour, I mean, almost 24 hours to settle. So be prepared to wait, but, Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, 
you are able to withdraw your STX from the exchanges. Now, when you have your STX in your wallet, the next stage is you now go to, you can now go to find a ticker. So I found a site that is uh, an indexer for all these tickers and this website is called stx20browser.xyz. When you get to this platform, you can now look at several things and this is very important information. You have to pay attention to understand because if you make a mistake here, your money will go to waste. It's free to mint anything, but you have to pay gas fees for it and sometimes the gas fees can be expensive. Now, you're looking at the amount of, these are a bunch of tokens that you can mint. Most of them would definitely be nothing, useless. Understood? Some of them will become something. So how do you choose which ones have a high chance of becoming successful? Number one, you have to look at obviously the ticker. It has to be memeable, it usually helps. And then you have to look at the percentage minted. You don't want a token that has like 2% because it's more likely to fail. If it has 36% minted, it means that people are actually minting. And you also have to look at the estimated transaction minted, how many of the total amount of tokens, right? And then you can, um, this is where the total supply is showing. So for GFY, for example, has a total supply of 21 million coins. So far, 7 million have been minted. On the other side, you can also see 762 transactions um, out of 2,100 have been conducted. So there is 13 million remaining and you can mint a maximum of 10,000 10, tokens per mint, right? So this, it will be relevant now when we go to mint. So let's go ahead and mint and see how it goes. So we go to stx20.com and you go to inscribe and here you select the ticker you want to mint so i want to mint gfy make sure this is correct and the destination now so your x your x um your wallet basically okay your wallet that has your stacks must be different from the one that is receiving it. So I'm minting using this wallet address, but I should have another address that is purely for receiving the token. That means you can just create on the account here, you can create an extra account that will be the recipient of your tokens you want to receive, all right? So in my case, what I will do, I already have another wallet that will be the recipient. I will go to STX20, my destination, I'll put another address, but make sure this is, if I go into my wallet and I click on receive, I have several addresses. You have to make sure that the receiving address is STX20. It's for stacks. You have to look for this stacks logo here, but it's not from the, within the same wallet that you, you want um, to use again. And then we saw that for GFY, the, the limit is 10,000. So I'll go ahead and put 10,000 there. Mint. Now, this is also important. This is where you pay the fees. So there is always a gas war going on. You have to make sure that you selected enough gas for this transaction to be competitive and miners to accept it and to go through. So you go to advanced settings, edit fees, and it's by default going to put it at 0 0.0018. You change it. I'm currently putting in one stacks on it to maximize the chances of my transaction going through and you apply and you go back to advanced settings and you change the nonce, edit nonce. So for every mint that you make, you have to make sure that this number is different by at least one or two on the higher end. So if you're minting for the first time, you set it at one, your second mint will be two, three, four and on and on. So now I'll put in 14 on here, apply and then I can Go ahead and mint and transaction has been broadcasted and you just hope that it goes through and then eventually you can check the address that was recipient by pasting it in here and search and you'll be able to see if there's something in your wallet.
And that's basically it. That's how we're minting STX20 tokens. And I will be giving you guys more updates on this. I'm doing live streams typically on, on Crypto University's channel on how to mint live. I'm minting a lot of stuff live. So make sure you subscribe to that channel as well. And you see what I've been, I'm, I've been minting and also for more educational content of this type. And if you want to be ahead of the curve when it comes to this stuff, our alpha group is the ultimate place that you should be. Link to that is in the description. You join, it's a Discord group full of traders and digins and people who are committed at success in crypto. We usually get onto a lot of stuff early before everyone else finds out. And if you wanna be part of the community and pump your crypto portfolio, surely make the commitment and join it. You get free courses, free help and support and we also do um, trading sessions together. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome.